When it comes to marketing, there are such multiple factors to consider. From pricing and promotion to product and placement, you need a model that can help you understand the bigger picture. In this lecture, we will focus on the 4 P's model, one of the most crucial marketing models out there and how it can help you create an effective marketing strategy. What should you consider when choosing a product? Product selection is one of the most critical aspects of marketing. There are a few key factors you should consider when choosing a product. The needs and wants of your target market, what are they looking for in a product? What will meet their needs and exceed their expectations? Your competition, what products are they offering? How can you differentiate your product to stand out from the crowd? Your own strengths and weaknesses, what can you do better than anyone else? How can you use your strengths to your advantage? By taking the time to consider all of these factors, you can choose a product that will be successful in the marketplace. Pricing your product can be a tricky task. You want to make sure you are not pricing yourself out of the market, but you also want to make sure you are making a profit. Here are some suggestions to help you price your product. Know your costs. This includes material costs, production costs, shipping costs, and other associated costs. This will help you determine what your minimum selling price must be in order to cover your costs and make a profit. Research the competition, see what similar products are being sold for, and price your product accordingly. You don't want to stand for the most costly choice, but you also don't want to be the cheapest option, as this can devalue your product. Consider your target market. Who is your target market? Are they price sensitive? Will they pay more for a premium product? Knowing this will help you price your product appropriately. There are numerous ways to promote your product, and it can be tough to understand which is best for you. That's where the 4 P's model comes in. The 4 P's model is a great way to think about marketing and can help you figure out the best way to promote your product. The first step is to compute what your product is. What are its features? What does it do? Once you know your product, you can start thinking about how to promote it. The next step is to think about your target audience. Who are you trying to contact with your product? What do they want? How can you reach them? Once you've figured out who you're trying to reach, you can start thinking about the best way to promote your product. There are a lot of different options, and the best way will vary depending on your product and your target audience. No matter what method you choose, the important thing is that you're thoughtful about it. Promoting your product isn't always easy, but if you take the time to plan ahead and think about what you're doing, you'll be more likely to succeed. Where is the best place to sell your product? There are many factors to consider when choosing the best place to sell your product. The first stage is to think about your audience and where they are likely to be located. If you are selling a product that appeals to a younger demographic, then selling online might be your best bet. However, Selling in brick and mortar stores might be a better option if you are selling a product that is more expensive or targeting an older demographic. Once you have considered your audience, the next step is to think about what type of retail environment would be most conducive to selling your product. For example, if you are selling a luxury item, then selling in an upscale department store might be the best option. On the other hand, if you are selling a more affordable product, then selling in a discount store might be a better option. Finally, it would help to consider the logistical aspects of selling your product. For example, if you are selling a physical product, you must consider things like shipping and inventory management. If you are selling an intangible product, you need to consider digital delivery and customer support. These factors must be assessed when determining the best place to sell your product. There is no one-size-fits-all answer, so it is important to carefully weigh all options before deciding.